still got to be active in the mid-range area when the defense gets away with one there. And it's Russell in the corner to the inside. Nurkic with the steal. Lillard the pass to McCollum. And so just over a minute and a half played. And it goes down two points. I feel like when CJ gets a couple of these to go, it accentuates his ability and confidence. Now on the scoring column with that bucket, one for two this game. Yeah, I love the play there from D'Lo. Uses the play, gets some space, and then knocks it down. And a wide open look for McCollum. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. And I like to see this. They're calling his number. Five to shoot. Here's a Kogi. Rebound by the Trailblazers. This time they met was right here, and they came out with the win. In the last meeting of these two teams, they were really sharp defensively, disrupting the flow of their offense and causing a ton of turnovers. It was definitely that defense that carried them to that huge win that night. You have to figure they'll be primed to wreak even more havoc here in this one. And standing 6-3 at that shooting guard spot, you know, the naysayers will question McCollum's lack of size defensively. Well, it might not be, G.A., the, the size part of it defensively. It's the fact that, you know, you'd like to make more of an impact. The, the best part about C.J. is that he usually wins the matchup on a nightly basis because he's such an incredible scorer, and that's where Three. maybe you make up the difference. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Trailblazers trail by three. Now here's McCollum. And he also played really well on that win against the Raptors. And that one is good. McCollum's got eight. Well, C.J. McCollum. Climbing the lane. And it's rebounded by Covington. Portland's gone 0-2 from deep here. Pass to Lillard. Now Powell. A good portion of the scoring has come from him. He averages more than 18 points a game. Basket good. Just so good off the pass. McCollum set up and ready at all times. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. Six to shoot. Nurkic with the block. Nurkic big and blocking. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. And McCollum throws it down hard. And, and you just know you're going to see something miraculous whenever he's in the house. He's really one of the special athletes we have in this league. And now another look. A stop like that was right on point. Here's a Kogi. He's coming off a 10-point game against Brooklyn. Great D that time from Nurkic. Portland leading. Here's McCollum. And Portland again with the bucket. Well, play him to take the drive, and you're backing up. The Trailblazers have gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. Lillard outside. Back to McCollum. Over Edwards and the basket by McCollum. McCollum's got 16. Just all finds McCollum. Nice D from Russell. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. Trailing by two. Pass to McCollum. Over Edwards. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Even though McCollum's a little bit thin, he doesn't mind taking the contact and moving away from it before scoring. And the injury troubles for Yusuf Nurkic the last few seasons, Brent. My goodness. Freak injuries, too. Just bad luck. And I feel like we've said that about the Blazers for about 30 years. Uh, and for Nurkic especially. Just the broken leg, a broken wrist. And, you know, when he was in the lineup last year, Kevin, they were, they were one of the best defensive starting five 